Number 19 on our best slash favorite Final Fantasy songs of all time only received one vote. The last time we did this, Doug was a lightning rod of hate for his pick at number 25. This is the last <laughs> song in the top 25 that only received one vote. It was a second place. It's from me. I did it. I'll be your lightning rod so, of hate. So you've ruined the list. <laughs> That's right. And I actually, I was going to say earlier, I tweaked the list at the last minute. And it was to take one of my songs that I was the only one who voted for out. So that's the only reason that Doug's made the list. Otherwise, it would have been 26. So keep that in mind. Strike two. Keep that in mind. <laughs> God damn it. Chris gets double the hate. That's right. I will be the lightning rod. I'm the tallest. It makes the most sense. My pick for number 19 is Endwalker Footfalls. This probably it's... won't surprise anybody who knows how much I've enjoyed this song quite a bit. You can make a case for other like main expansion theme songs throughout this series. No question. There's several good ones. There might be one on the list later. It's hard to say. But for me, this is the amalgamation of everything in the 10-year journey after Realm Reborn started. Because obviously we know about what led up to that and the failure that the original version of the game was in 1.0. But this has basically every main theme in it in a beautiful medley. The new pieces are stunning. The singing is extraordinary. And as a result, it's my number two. And even though I'm the only person who voted for it, that's enough points with the top heavy system to put it up at number 19. I can't hate it. it it's a great song. Yeah, I can't <laughs> either. No, it's it's fantastic for basically all of the exact reasons that you mentioned it. It mentioned and uh, honestly, I, I, I might have to review my choices because I kind of wonder if I just gave it a different gave one of my Final Fantasy 14 picks the wrong name because that, that, that is the exact kind of thing that is right up my alley. I love it when old motifs come back and, and are thrown together in such a wonderful way. It is, it is, it is, it is really good. I, I don't have the words to express how awesome I find that song. I can't oh, tell wait, you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hate Chris, hate Chris, hate Chris. Oh yeah, right. but this part's great because we have the guitar <laughs> and then it leads into the new motif. And it just, God, this part gives me chills every single fucking time. Yep. <laughs> it's the best version of this, which permeates all of Endwalker. It's in like six different songs. <laughs> it's the main through line. But man, it's so pretty here. And like, and then it segues into Heaven's Word, and that part's super good. And they had the new like like pause in between the, the measures and just like, fuck, man. Like it's it's so, like, I really like Shadowbringer's theme. I, I love answers. Like a Dragon Song's great. To me, this blows the others out of the water, and it's not even that close. I watched the trailer for this like 60 goddamn times because the single hadn't been released until about a month after that. And so it had the talking over it, like Emmett Selk's narration. Didn't care. I wanted to hear this nope. that badly. So when it finally came out, it's like, that's going right on the playlist. It's the most played song on my on my phone. Yeah, Do they take I... like bits of this and integrate it into other music in Ann Walker? Or is it kind of like its own thing for whatever moment it plays in? There's a piece of this that plays at a critical moment of Ann Walker. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, that... This Maybe. song is kind of, it's made to be like a emogulation of, or sorry, words. It, it's your journey up until this point, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's tied in, it, everything fits together. It's a perfect puzzle. And I think that's a <laughs> testament to Endwalker as a whole. It brings all 10 years of this stuff full circle. It benefited another song that is on our top 25 in the same way, because it's basically closing this decade chapter of, and if you had an emotional attachment to this game, like, all of that stuff resonates extra hard. It's more than just a good track. It's because it's like, okay, everything we've done in our journey to this point is now coming to a head, and this song represents all of that. I think if you had said amalgamation with confidence, we would have, we would have been, we would have went with you. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I can... <laughs> my tongue's tied. Uh, uh, that's my excuse. He's not wrong. <laughs> 